The city of Spur without a police department tonight after the resignation of their police chief and sole officer. KLBK's Alyssa Taya is joining us now. You spoke with the mayor today in Spur. What does the city plan to do about all of this? Terry, the Spur Police Department is now totally empty and for the time being, the Dickens County Sheriff's Office will be covering for the city. Residents I spoke to who didn't want to go on camera tell me they're concerned about not having a local department, but the mayor says they're going to fill those positions as soon as possible. They're not shutting it down. Located in the heart of Spur, the police department now empty. I accept the resignation of city, of the city of Spur Chief of Police, Robert Garcia, and Officer Eric Keaton, effective immediately. No patrol cars or officers in sight. The city would like to thank Chief Garcia and Officer Keaton for their service protecting our community and wishing each of them well in their future endeavors. This after a special city council meeting on Monday. The city of Spur accepting the resignations from the police chief and sole officer and addressing rumors the city would be defunding their police department. We are not doing away with our police department. Now the Dickens County Sheriff's Office will be looking after the town of more than 1,300 people. We had some reserves and he's talking to a couple of our reserves to um, hire to help and, and they're, they're good. The Dickens County Sheriff's Office is 10 miles away and already have a relationship with the city of Spur, serving as their dispatch and stepping in with their last police chief left. We'll be covered. We're not without coverage. Their patrol cars now sitting in a city barn and leaving their canine officer Dodger without a handler. We didn't have a registered handler. So we, we had to get him back to the trainer. Mayor Jones declining to address the reason behind the officer's resignations, but asks for the city's patience as they work to get those positions filled. But do like they always did, if something happened, call the sheriff's department. Next week, they will begin taking applications for a chief and new officer. The mayor says the sheriff's office will be taking care of filling those positions, so avoid calling the city hall. Terry.